The following Let's Play has been rated not safe for young children. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> oh boy, here we go. It's too powerful to defeat, but we have to buy John some time to get the hammer ready. Alright, well, let's start attacking you and do a little bit of this. And, um, Spirit Bless. I don't know how much this will help, but any little help we can have, we want. And then Cinderella will probably be on healing duty. Oh, gosh. Yeah, um, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing in this fight. Did I mention, oh, gosh? Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, we found out that Locke is the descendant of King Arthur. And nobody was surprised. Anyway, we just found out that we can use these here tombstones to teleport to other tombstones. Which again, doesn't surprise anybody. And we're going to use it to transport to... The only place that we can transport to right now. The one in Gutorga Port. If I remember correctly, this is where we found, um... John. Especially considering the music. Door unlocked. Oh! Yeah, this building here. We couldn't enter it before, but now we could. I need to rest at the inn. Like, seriously. I mean, my HP is fine, but my magic's getting kind of low. Anyway, this will pretty much be the last episode for the week. Alright, well, as long as we're exploring, sure, I can tell you about myself and my LPs. I am Dragon Yewelin Fuzzbottom Jr. I am a raccoon dragon, as far as you know. You'll see me at the end of the credits when I end the, edit these episodes. It's a representation of me and Second Life. I do Let's Plays of mainly RPG Maker games, but of course I just started the Game Boy Wednesday live streams. I've been uh, doing Let's Plays now for... Let's see, almost six years, I want to say. Almost seven years. I, let's, I started... My first Let's Play was my own game, Jester's Hunt, and that was in 2008. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so yeah, I'm almost at 7 years of Let's Playing. Despite having Let's Played for 7 years, I don't have much of a fan base. I definitely have some regulars, and uh, having started the streams this season has helped for me. That's another thing. I've been. D I separate my s let's plays into streams. I am currently in the eighth season, which is dedicated to games not created with RG Maker One on the PlayStation One. I'm also on track to this being the first season where I only let's play RG Maker games. Every other season of let's plays, I've done the occasional commercial game. Oh, uh, we got another cutscene. Yeah, <laughs> now that's unexpected. Indeed, the Piper failed. The Pied Piper was beyond help. His own arrogance led to his death. What interests me is who committed the deed. Oh, goodness. She knows who we are. He is but a child. No. Morgan. You are dismissed. As you wish, milady. As another thing I should clarify, I read dialogue out loud for the sake of pacing, because if I don't read dialogue, there's a chance I might read it too fast. And if I try not to read it too fast, I might go through it too slow. That was a problem with some of my earlier Let's Plays, was I went through dialogue too slow. Also, reading dialogue out loud makes it easier to point out typos that I can make fun of, as well as comment on different things. 
I try not to do voice act, though. I mean, I might give emphasis where there's emphasis, but I don't, like, try to do different voices. It is him. I knew Arthur had it hidden somewhere. It? How rude. Oh, can you feel the power em emanating from him, Morgan? I feel nothing. The time has at long last come. I want this boy captured and brought here unharmed. So that guy that appeared is pretending to be the Grimm, which was a boss that we fought at the beginning of the game that King Arthur, Merlin, and some other guy killed, Lancelot. Lafay is the daughter of the Grimm, and she wants revenge for the Grimm's death, but now is apparently being manipulated by the fake Grimm. Also, this scene looks cool. Beast of the Deep. Your slumber must come to an end. Your hunger is strong. Your anger is great. You will awaken from your great sleep. Kill them. All that fancy introduction and your instructions were so simple. So, I have a feeling that we're about to fight the Kraken. That might not be very good. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to various folks around here. I know we can do this, Locke. Once we find the first chapter stone, we will be alright. So, Alice, I know you're new, so let me clarify a couple of things about this game. This game is based on old fairy tales like King Arthur, Cinderella, um, Little Red Riding Hood. And in fact, we actually have Little Red Riding Hood and Cinderella on our team. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, talk to you last because you're probably the person we want to talk to. Castle Helt. That is in the Great Southern Region. Everyone knows that negotiations with that region are still very unsure. Negotiations? Hey, wait a sec. I don't know what, anything about the negotiations. Tell me about them. We ready to go, lad? Yes. Then all aboard. Alright. We are on the Hispaniola. Incidentally, the first time we were on the Hispaniola, there were a couple of docks here. I didn't really pay attention to them, but apparently the reason all those people ambushed us on the boat is because we were still at dock. I figure we were out in the middle of the sea, and some of my commentary is based on that assumption. Out of curiosity, did you hear that? That was some loud thunder there. Hey there, deckhand. Good to see you uh, be feeling better. Here, take this. A full potion? Nice. Didn't you give me this before, though? We're heading for health now? Yes, we are. I feel like you gave me the full potion the first time we were on this ship. It's so much better having food and supplies again. Um, thanks? I'm not especially a fan of my voice. No, that was definitely thunder. Captain Silver is one of the best shots with a pistol that I've ever seen. Yes, we already know that. I wonder who I should talk to. Who is the person of which our goal is to talk to? Because I want to talk to that person last. I'm going to assume that it's John S Silver himself. You know, it's probably just as well that there is thunder, because we're probably about to fight the Kraken, and that's so the thunder is kind of ominous. 
We will have trouble gaining interest at Castle Hilt, but we will figure that out when we arrive. Now Cinderella is in one of these rooms. She wasn't supposed to be there before, it was an accident. I just figured she was on the ship for no per particular reason. So it was kind of a little spoiler that we were going to get her on our team. I've never been on a real ship before this one. I am still getting used to it. Yeah, that's some loud thunder. How loud is the thunder picking up on my mic, out of curiosity? It's not too loud, is it? It's looking a little choppy up ahead. Can you take a look up at the bow? Okay, sure. I talked to everybody, so I'll do it. I actually really like that you are giving me the opportunity to choose whether I uh, continue the plot or not. It means that if I talk to the wrong person by accident, I still have a chance to not talk to that person and still explore. Also, Kraken, what is that thing? No, it ain't possible. We killed it. Oh yeah, John's been having dreams about the Kraken. What are you talking about, Silver? What is it? It, it's, it's the Kraken. But I thought it was only a myth. It ain't no myth, darling. My captain, my best friend, died killing it once. Now I get to kill it myself! Battle stations! Hi, Captain. Okay. Um... Hmm, got a hold of uh, the mast. Leave it to me. Forget it, lad. This is my ship, and I'll be defending her. You're needed down here. I'm going. All right, but be careful. Why is it only one of us fighting? Okay, then. This looks interesting. Something tells me I'm not supposed to be able to walk like this. Alright, so earlier in this list play we actually found the Kraken at random while exploring the sea. The Kraken was not actually supposed to be there. I imagine this is the point where we were supposed to encounter the Kraken for the first time. Also, the first time we encountered the Kraken, it murdered us. So I imagine now we're at the point where we should be able to so somewhat survive. Then again, maybe not, because we're only fighting a tentacle. Kind of wondering stuff. I'm wondering stuff. This is kind of intense with it storming outside in real life. Alright, well, I was uh, kind of curious if um, how much damage my special would cause compared to my regular. That was only half the attack there, so I guess the special causes the same amount of damage. That was interesting, though. Whee! Captain, the cannons aren't stopping it. It's still coming. Hmm, they all. There will there be only one thing left now. I'm going down to use the Thor's hammer. But Captain, just look after the ship till I'm ready. Rain's coming down now. 
Where's the Thor's hammer? It be a magic weapon that the last captain had installed to kill the Kraken. It uses a blast of thunder based magic like a cannon. Okay, now that it's not only thundering but it's raining, that's not picking up on the audio too much, is it? Because for me, the audio is loud enough that it's drowning out the music. I can't hear the music as well. So this is some heavy rain we got going on outside. You can hear Jack and Squat. Well, that's good to know. So let us continue then. But that is a good thing, is it not? No. That idiot, what is he thinking? The attack backfires, seen as we be in the sea. When the captain used it, the Kraken was too close. They were both killed by the blast. So, what is going to happen when Mr. Silver fires it? Most likely, he'll die too. No. I will not let him. Okay, Red is definitely falling in love with Silver. Davy Jones Locker! The monster is upon us! We have no choice. We have to stop the Kraken from destroying the ship long enough for John to get the weapon ready. Then what? Just let him die? I hate it too, Red. I pray to the Maker there was another way. Unfortunately, Fedora left. Mr. Silver. You're... You're right. Oh boy, here we go. It's too powerful to defeat, but we have to buy John some time to get the hammer ready. Alright, well, let's start attacking you and do a little bit of this. And, um, Spirit Bless. I don't know how much this will help, but any little help we can have, we want. And then Cinderella will probably be on healing duty. Oh, gosh. Yeah, um, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing in this fight. Did I mention, oh gosh? I don't know how we're supposed to be uh, dealing with this, but heal too. Never mind. Well, now's the opportunity to kind of find out if this here wish fish will revive lock with full HP just in case I'm having you use heal 2 on lock oh wait you go last or you go first rather dang I'm not sure what to do with this situation then lock was revived good news is Blocked it and immediately get killed. Bad news is, he is in fact revived with only one HP. Fedora, that will need to be changed, please. I do not want to want luck to be the determining factor with reviving party members. It should never be about luck. When you revive somebody, you should be in an okay situation. Maybe if his HP was the revived with half, because reviving somebody only for them to immediately get killed after is never a good thing. All right, let's see how much that heals. Not enough. Hopefully, we can at least kill the cra uh, c tentacles. Alright, we need a plan B. You do that. We still need to kill the tentacles. So, yeah. Still c kill the tentacles.
so we'll worry about getting Locke's HP to full after we take care of the tentacles. I'm still having Locke attack the Kraken because maybe we can hopefully decrease his attack power. At least he's missing. It's raining harder, by the way. Got a storm outside while I'm fighting the Kraken. That's just amazing to me. Oh, that looks painful. That was indeed painful. Um... Suppose we could do this. You know what? Emergency situation. Do that. Do that. Do this. Halfway there! Keep that off me! By the way, in case it's not obvious, I tend to n prefer not to swear. I was raised not to swear, and so I prefer not to swear. Please tell me she was able to get off her healing spell before... no. Alright. Item. High potion on you. And then you... Get rid of that other tentacle. I was hoping that would get rid of the other tentacle. This is kind of a tough fight. I I'm, I'm a, I am supposed to survive this fight, right? Not that Fedora is here to tell me. And with this storm going on outside, this is kind of intense for me. All right, back up. Let's um. How do I want to do this? Who goes first generally? I want to say Locke does, so you heal you, and then you heal Locke. Okay, Red went first. Good news is, not a bad situation. That's a bad situation! That is totally a bad situation. You know what? Now's a good time to use this here Y summon. Please tell me it heals more than... Um... Thank you for evading the attack. I'm afraid to try running away. If I run away, it might cost me a turn. Not that it matters. No, seriously. I was supposed to survive that? I gotta rethink my situation here. That has ice attached to it. Do I have, like, any spells that would raise... Well... Oh, we got that. That's handy. But, I mean, besides mind, that's not going to be helpful. Nothing to raise defense. Nothing to lower attack. What is your attack again? Damage two enemies. I don't know what I'm how I'm supposed to survive that. Well, I'll try again. Oh, looking up here, season three of what? They're talking about the seasons of my Let's Plays. Like I said earlier, I uh, separated my Let's Plays into seasons. Kind of differentiate them a little to... Well, the point of the seasons was to make it so that the old Let's Plays could remain separate, separated from my newer stuff. Kind of a... Separates them in, like, a way that 
you know the new stuff is going to be better. Like I said, right now, this is Season 8. Alright, well, I got that poisoned at least. My gosh! Already? Well, yeah, I could guard, but I don't know how much that'll help in this situation. Let's use this. What will guard do for this? Well, as long as they're going after Cinderella, but guarding here... Guarding here is not going to help. Because uh, guarding will not prevent me from taking damage. Instead, it'll just cut damage in half. Alright, well, I'll try to defend with red. But it's not going to be particularly helpful in this situation. At least as far as trying to recover as much as possible. I'm dead. Unless I get lucky with the next turn. Nope, I got the opposite of lucky. He keeps using that attack. All right, well, new strategy at Red Eye's recommendation, then. I mean, instead of trying to kill the tentacles, which would help me survive, they have a lot of HP, so maybe... Hmm. Focus on defending, but I still want to maybe hopefully decrease the strength of those tentacles all right attempt number three I really want to weaken one of the tentacles I have everybody else defend but the tentacle needs to be weakened maybe they're actually not terribly strong now that I think about it All right. Well, in that case, yeah, let's uh, focus on just keeping everybody alive then. Just going to keep on guarding plus recover. Hopefully, Cinderella is able to survive. Especially when dealing with an attack like that. Oh, I'm losing because he's... Oh... Well, in that case, now I consider it a, ch a challenge, an interesting challenge. Can I survive long enough for this battle to end? This is actually my third attempt trying to survive against this guy. I'm getting lucky so far. But I feel like that luck is about to end. 
You guard. We need to have double healing duty now. So that Cinderella can survive to heal some more. Thank goodness the Kraken decided to just sit there this turn. Guard. Guard. Recover. Evade! Didn't evade, but survived anyway. Alright. So, if I can survive this battle that is actually not even supposed to be the right battle, it's gonna. I'm gonna be really impressed with myself. Alright. Uh, you need to heal yourself, Miss Red. Alright, well, thanks for coming. Guard, guard. So then, Fedora, out of curiosity, was I supposed to be able to kill the Kraken? Oh, we need to, like, heal MP. And then I'll take a chance with heal too. Yeah, am I supposed to try to kill this guy? Or am I supposed to? Okay, so. Even if this is the wrong version of the Kraken, I am at least using the right strategy. Use that. Guard. Recover. Oh, you would use that. Alright, well, you're in no position to do anything, so... And then heal you, and... I'll take a chance with... Recover. Oh! I did it! I survived the fight that... Huh! Come on! Fire, mm, you! The blessed thing's a heap! Oh no! Now what do we do? We ain't far from land. You lot take the lifeboats and row for it. I'm gonna keep the monster busy. Stop trying to kill yourself. We're in this together. Oops. Red! Hang on, darling. I'm coming. Oh no! Red! Mr. Silver! Cinderella, hold on!